hi hello everyone hope you are all uh, doing good so in this video uh, we are going to install and uh, configure the latest version of Citrix virtual apps and desktop 7.2212 so if you if you want to know more about this latest version of Citrix virtual apps and desktop you can go to this site and then you can see in this article the system requirement and what is the new future they introduced in this uh, version also what are the uh, system requirement uh, suppose if you want to uh, set up a new infrastructure which is having 7.2212 version of Citrix version so you can go through the uh, article uh, it might uh, help you to understand uh, from the all perspective for migration for upgrade things kind of things so just utilize this URL uh, to know more about this latest uh, version of Citrix virtual apps and desktop so now we are going to install and configure the latest version of Citrix virtual apps and desktop. So already I pre prepared uh, two delivery controller, then one uh, AD server. So let me show you the three server. This is the AD server. In the AD server, I have installed the uh, SQL server role and um, this thing is a license server. So this is our database server. So now we are going to install that uh, uh, delivery controller and uh, director role in a single server so this is the one of the delivery controller we are going to install that uh, controller role first i will mount the iso file let's go to the server In the new version, uh, Citrix introduced two features like uh, Citrix Site Manager and uh, Citrix Web Studio. The Web Studio, it looks like uh, Citrix Cloud um, uh, Management Console. So post installation, uh, we'll see how the Web Studio Console looks like. So compared to native console, uh, Web Console is a little faster. Already I tried. So Citrix also uh, mentioned that uh, uh, when you are using the Web Studio console, it's a little faster. Even I felt it the same. So accept the license agreement. So already we have license server. So we are going to install four, four roles in this server, Delivery Controller, Studio, Web Studio, and Director role. If you don't want, you can uncheck it. But uh, this is a new uh, preview uh, feature of the latest version. So we are going to uh, use this Web Studio. So suppose if you are going, if we already configured any other server, you can add like a primary server kind of thing. So now we are going to install only one server now. So already we have SQL server, so I'm not going to install here. So just I'm installing a Windows Remote Assistant, uh, which is prerequisite for a director. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise, you can uh, ignore it. Because when it's a record, suppose uh, you are going to take a remote session with the end user from a director console. So you need to enable this feature. So click Next. Install. So it will take some time to install. So I will pass the video. I will continue once it's installed. So installation has done. So launch uh, site manager to configure the Citrix site. Before that, I will show you the database and license server. This is our license server. So license server name is controller i for one. So this is the IP address of the license server. This is the license server version. So this is our database, which is running on 2019 uh, SQL server. Okay, let's go to controller. So in earlier version, we used to uh, configure the Citrix site by using Citrix Studio. 
but in uh, double to one to version you need to configure the citrix site by using the site manager uh, console so site name i'm going to keep citrix gsr india So I am going to mention the SQL Server address here, controller 1, 1, 4, double 3, port number. So I have DB admin, uh, admin permission uh, for the account which I logged into the controller now. So click next. So here we need to mention the license server address. Our license server name is controller1. So SQL and uh, license server uh, both are installed in the same server. So connect me. So select the license, which will option desktop premium. So click finish. So it will configure the site. So in earlier version, we need to mention like uh, app is there or not a uh, hosting for everything. But in this version, so only uh, by using site manager, we are creating the uh, site, not hosting for other uh, features. So if you want to add hosting, then you need to do the hosting, uh, adding hosting and all in uh, Citrix Studio only. This is for only site creation purpose. They have site manager. Uh, to add the controller and remove the controller we can perform uh, those kind of activity from the citrix site manager console our site has configured configured successfully let me open the Citrix Web Studio and the uh, Studio Console. Just the just use the URL in the Chrome. We will have a better uh, GUI. So Citrix Studio launched fine. So there are no machine catalog. So we need to create. Just access the web based console. So this is the interface for the Citrix Web Studio console, like uh, Citrix Studio, sorry, Citrix Cloud Studio. So this is on-premises Citrix Studio Web Console. Looks like it's a Citrix Cloud Management Console. Okay, we'll try to configure secondary server now. Secondary delivery controller. So just mount the ISO file to the second controller.
just open an ISO file. So uncheck license server. Click next. Uncheck this one. Okay, let it install. So once it's installed, we'll add this server to the existing uh, Citrix GSR India site. That's completed. Just go to primary controller. Go to site manager, add delivery controller. Add the secondary controller address, CTX. Okay. So earlier, uh, we need to uh, update from the secondary controller if you want to add the controller to any site. But the latest version, uh, we can do it from a secondary controller as well from, and uh, from primary controller as well. Now we are adding the secondary controller from primary controller. Suppose if you want to add this server to a uh, site from the secondary controller, you need to use this option. But we are adding this server from a primary controller itself. Site, you can see two controller name here. Go to Web Studio once. Go to studio, refresh. So we have created Citrix GSR India site and uh, added a uh, secondary controller as well. So right now this site having two controller. In next video, we'll configure the storefront.